Hi, I'm Juliet Gardner. I'm a support for learning teacher at Bankery Academy. Um, before I came to Bankery Academy, I was a primary teacher. Uh, good afternoon. My name's Carol Taylor and I'm a support for learning teacher at Bankery Academy as well. And I was also a primary school teacher before I started here. So uh, what we're going to talk to you about briefly today is how we use the outdoor learning environment to enhance learning. So we work mostly with pupils in S1 to 4. Um, sometimes in groups uh, or individuals or, or pairs, whatever the need arises. We use our garden space a lot. We use local woodlands, rivers, estates, nature reserves that we're lucky enough to live very close to. So our aim is to increase pupil confidence and skills, both personally, socially and in relation to the tasks that they are undertaking. Pupils also learn about themselves in relation to other people themselves in relation to other living things and their place within the ecosystem. They also learn how to work as a team member and how to act in social groups. They're also learning soft skills for employment. So we find that we have to really be quite fluid with how we work, uh, depending on the weather, the interest of the pupils and the direction that the pupils want to take their learning. We try to build resilience and gently nudge people out of their comfort zone so they can ex ex succeed at new experiences. Next slide, please. So what do we offer our pupils? Our Horticulture Award is for S4 pupils who have elected to take this course. They complete two compulsory units, allotment gardening and plant propagation, then two or three additional units. Over that last couple of years, we have focused on composting, soft landscaping and plant health. Outdoor learning has been a commitment to Bankery Academy for over 10 years. Currently, this provides a day out a week for all S1 and S2 register classes. We work in the local woodland using tools, learning about fire, cooking outdoors and learning about the natural Scottish environment. We also offer outdoor learning to smaller mixed S1 and S2 groups who are working towards their John Muir Award or their, and their Junior Forester Award. We visit a variety of different landscapes, woods, beaches, local estates and nature reserves to compare features of the natural environment. Our STH, Social Therapeutic Horticulture, is essentially a nurture group which uses gardening and associated activities to develop physical skills as well as the development of the whole person. Spending time in nature is good for us. Getting soil on our hands is a natural antidepressant, but also allows the teacher to work alongside pupils and stimulate non-threatening conversations. Our Level 3 Dynamic Youth Award and Personal Development Award complement the STH sessions and are pupil-led. They are a practical way to gain additional National 3 qualifications. It also provides an opportunity to gain skills for life and skills for work. Next slide, please. So where did we start? Well, as you can see from this slide, we, it's been many years in the making and we started out with one large area of grass. Um, we did have a vision though of what we wanted to achieve and an interest in working in the natural environment. So we set about applying for uh, grants to access some money. Um, we applied for the Joe Walters Trust, uh, the McRobert Trust and Youth Bank grants to um, fund some of the work we wanted to do. Um, we called in help for some of the larger structures that we wanted to put in, but then we worked with the pupils to develop it. This became part of our horticulture award, building a pond, a rockery, our compost areas, a forest school area, uh, our vegetable plots and lots of other things as well. And really it just grows year on year. Our social and therapeutic horticulture is really a new addition since COVID. It has been hugely successful in supporting some of our more vulnerable pupils. Our SDH programme is only planned slightly ahead as we are led by the needs of the pupils. We've purchased warm jackets and hoodies so that we can get them outside in all well weathers. We want to use all the senses to build resilience. Next slide, please. This is, there has been a huge amount of research into the benefits of engaging in the natural environment. Research shows that people who are more connected with nature are usually happier in life, 
and more likely to feel that their report feeling their lives are more worthwhile. Nature can generate many positive emotions such as calmness, joy and creativity and can facilitate concentration. Nature connectedness is also associated with lower levels of poor mental health, particularly lower depression and anxiety. Outdoor learning is a great way of getting pupils off campus and into the wild. We see a marked difference in pupils when they're working outdoors in this way. Our most impulsive pupils can move, climb, problem solve and think and our quiet pupils can become brave, contemplative and peaceful. The garden allows people to get dirt under their nails and rain in their hair. They can feel alive outside. If you were going to read one book, Last Child in the Woods, Saving Our Children from Nature Deficit Disorder by Richard Louvre is a really good recommendation. Nature does not steal time, it amplifies it. Next slide, please. So uh, we don't always have to be outside. So this slide shows a variety of work that we complete inside to complement the outside things that we plan and do. So at the moment, we have groups making um, hedgehog boxes, uh, stripping pallets to turn them into planters, making scarecrows, researching bird, feeder, uh, bird feeders and so on. We complete paperwork for our awards and our horticulture course, and we enter competitions to provide a focus for horticulture over the winter months. So the Keep Scotland Beautiful Pocket Garden is an example of a horticulture based competition that allows for a huge range of skills to be pulled in. Our plan as seen in the slide here has taken us a few weeks work, then we've split into groups, interest groups, and we're beginning on creating it. There really is no end of what can be done. All you need is the vision and the confidence to have a go. Thanks very much for listening. Thank you. Thank you.